All right, people. We're gonna call this my three-month update. Probably a little late on it. Uh, it's okay. Have some uh, some family things going on that took precedence. So, but I've been uh, I haven't forgot. I've been meaning to do this for a minute and uh, just kind of update everybody on what I got going on here and how the tank has turned out. Um, so far, I'm happy. Uh, I enjoy my Paladarium. I like looking at it and and uh, sitting here and just kind of checking it out. It's uh, it's very relaxing. I don't have anything big in here as far as uh, as fauna goes. Um, kind of doing it for the flora, to be honest with you. But um, so here it is. Uh, this is the water section. Um, got little uh, these little rainbow fish in there. I forget what they're called. They were like 50 cents or some at the pet store. Um, I do have a. Uh, a little snail in there that helps me clean up things. I need to get a couple more. Um, that's really it in there for now. I had a frog, uh, an African reed frog, and I don't know what happened to it. It's uh, I seen it the first week, and I haven't seen it since, and it's been about three, four months. So maybe he's in there, maybe he comes out at night, but I think he's dead and, and cycled my tank. But these guys made it. They survived. Um, as far as plants go, these are my mangroves. They're doing really well. The root system is uh, really grabbing hold of the substrate, the dirt, which is just uh, playground sand, honestly. Um, it gets dirty really easy at the top of it. I cleaned it a little bit today, so don't be fooled. But um, So no, so I was propping these, these mangroves up with the uh, seashells. I had them all around there just to kind of keep them supported. And one by one, I've been able to move them off of there as they've supported themselves and, and gotten established into the uh, substrate. I like it. Uh, I like how it's turned out. I like how it's turning out. I really want to create a canopy um, just maybe a couple inches higher than where they're at now. Maybe keep them that length. Um, the water itself, <clears throat> you know, if I had to do over, I would have gotten a uh, air stone for this thing because I, I feel like that's what's kept a lot of my plants from thriving. Uh, I went through so many plants that just didn't make it in here, even low light plants. Only plants I've really seen thrive in this tank are these guys. And these are uh, green crypto cryptocrines. Uh, cryptocrine wind ditty and green whatever these are the only things that have thrived I put one back there too and uh, they've actually grown and, and done a good job that's sand in the leaves they're not bleached um, it's where I was topping off the water uh, but they have done really well so I think I'm honestly gonna fill the whole back side of that up with that um, that's another little plant over there that didn't make it um, so yeah I maybe eventually get in here and do some surgery and add a uh, air stone and then fill the rest of these bare spots with that, that cryptogyne, whatever, however you say it. I'm horrible pronouncing stuff like that. Um, Anubius Petite, I don't think it's going to make it. It's been there for a few months. It's grown a little bit. It don't look too bad. Some of the leaves are getting a little dark, though. Um, I don't think it's enough light, man. I, I, don't, I don't think there's enough light in here. So There's a boost, a blue boost. I have uh, up here, I have a orchid that's doing really, really well. It's a Lepenthus telepicornoflora uh, crossed with a Calidocyon. I'm horrible at this. Um, I got a Creeping Charlie. I love the Creeping Charlie, man. It really, uh, if you need some space taken up, it, it covers everything. Uh, and I just wrap it around that, that tree that you see I've, I have sticking out of there. Um, Got me a pothos, pothos over here. I've had a couple things in that area that haven't survived. The pothos seems to be doing pretty well. Um, angel's tears, baby's tears, whatever you want to call them. Man, those things take off and they just take over, which I put it in a good spot. Um, I don't like that corner and it's really taken over that. Just be careful when you trim it. Um, it looks like there's some down there that's taken hold of my waterfall. Now they're growing where it's, it's fell from me trimming. Um, what else do I have in here? I feel like I'm forgetting something. A couple air plants. That's my center air plant. I like that a lot. Um, I have in the back, I don't know if you can see him or not, but that is Deschidia, 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 Herusta, Herusta Red. Um, I like that guy a lot. And he's, I actually got him and he's got a little growth spike coming off of him. I don't know if you can see it. Horrible picture. But here it is. This is my tank. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding it or, or something you see that you want me to kind of tell you what it is, happy to do so. There's my resurrection ferns. That's the new ones coming off. All the old ones died off. It's actually doing pretty good. I feel like it's spread into my other piece of wood right there. But, um, no. Here she is. Doing well. Uh, I got some plans for the, uh, for the water up park as soon as I get some more plants taken off there. Like I said, that's always been my kind of my struggle. Uh, with this tank is the water area it hasn't completely crashed on me yet so i'm okay um 
I'll just keep trucking along with it. But yeah, that's that. That's what I got going on. Um, like I said, if you have any questions on anything I forgot to maybe label or, or talk about, um, ask me in the comments section and I'll be happy to reply to it. But there it is. Thank you all for viewing. Um, thanks for the comments and thanks for even taking an interest in uh, my pilotarium. Um, I do have another tank I'm working on. I'll give you a little quick sample. That's it. That's all you get. Um, I'll let you see when that's done. That's not a polydarium. That's a viv. But I'm still trying to establish that. So anyway, you all be safe. Um, I'll give you another update. Hopefully it ain't three or four months from now. Um, but a comment. Thanks. See ya.